Big news of the afternoon. Uh, we're going to go to Don Clark, who's uh, bringing this to us. Uh, some steps that Facebook is taking here. Everybody has been watching this, of course, very closely, uh, very highly anticipated. So, Don, let's start off by talking about what we know so far in terms of them picking a lead underwriter for this. What do we know? Yes, this is the biggest underwriting deal for a long time in technology. And Morgan Stanley, we know to be the lead person. That they call the lower left position. That's kind of numero uno. Yeah. Goldman Sachs is likely to be involved. So this, this means tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars in underwriting fees. So it's a big deal. And that we're also hearing uh, timing may come as, uh, for a filing may come as early as Wednesday, although that's not definite. And how significant, go ahead, David. Well, we're talking about a significant uh, valuation, uh, uh, possibly a $10 billion IPO in itself. Is that right, Don? That's right, and that would be, uh, you know, ranked as one of the highest, uh, like the top five of all time, I think. But, uh, and the $100 billion valuation has been broached a while, for a while, but that's, just to put in context, I mean, that's about the size of McDonald's. I mean, it's a, for a company, as, company as young as Facebook, that's pretty significant. Let me just follow up quickly on Morgan Stanley. I mean, we all know that Goldman uh, ran this private placement last year that kind of ran into some troubles with the Securities and Exchange Commission about who could buy it. Uh, I, I think they went eventually overseas to overseas investors. Did Goldman, you think, get a snub here? Is it, are, are they on the outside? I mean, they're going to have a significant role. But as you point out, Don, that lower left spot is the spot that everybody keys on. Well, it's it's they're all they're you know one, one and two in a lot of uh, uh, rankings already all the time. So they're used to competing dog, you know, tooth by jowl for all these kinds of deals. So I don't think it was particularly a snub. I think you kind of just had to pick one, and Morgan uh, must have impressed the Facebook guys a bit more. Okay. And why? And I'm, to both of you, I guess, why, do you think now is the right time uh, for this? I mean, obviously it's been anticipated, but you know, wh why do we think the, th the wheels are in motion right now? And when you know, I think it's a league of its own. What do you think, Don? I think so too. You know, they have a, various pressures. By April, they have to do something because otherwise they're going to have to start reporting their numbers anyway. So everybody kind of thinks it's going to happen this year. That's just become a question of when. One of the things is, of course, the conditions in the market. It's been going up and down, but it's a little more positive than it was, you know, a month or so ago. Uh, there's also, on the other hand, there's been mixed signals with the reception to IPOs like LinkedIn, Groupon. So, you know, it, it's not the greatest time to go public, but it's pretty good for them. Yeah, and I think it'll also be interesting uh, as we get closer, and, and tell me if there's any indication from Facebook on this about where they're going to list. Is it going to be a NASDAQ company? Is it going to be a New York Stock Exchange listing? Obviously, those two are still very competitive, and, you know, any word on what the ticker might be? I don't think we know that yet. However, um, you know, it's usually assumed most companies go out on NASDAQ, most tech companies initially. But you know, that's, again, again, another thing. that could, There could be a big battle brewing on and when we look at some of the investors, I was reading that you know this IPO may be make these early investors some of the wealthiest in the Silicon Valley history in terms of these IPOs. I mean, this is really going to sort of blow the doors off of some of the valuations we've seen in the past, isn't it? That's right. And, and um, you know, we have another story running tonight about the venture capital firms that have uh, been putting money in, and they 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 you know for relatively small amounts of money, they're going to make a lot and uh, you know like thousandfold return kind of things. And uh, then also they'll just be the kind of normal, you know, Facebook millionaires that like there were Google millionaires and Apple millionaires, uh, like when the things were announced. Sometimes yeah. these things can uh, create problems inside companies because all of a sudden, who's the billionaire? Who's the millionaire? And uh, we'll see. We'll see if it has an effect on, on uh, how Facebook does its business. Yeah. All right, Don, thank you so much for joining sure. us. Here, David, I want to know what the Winklevile will be worth after this. <laughs> That's really well, they've what got, we want to know. they've got those pickle commercials or whatever, right? Pistachio. <laughs> Pistachio.